Before the rush of the day begins, before the world's noise drowns out your thoughts, before the busyness of life pulls you in all directions, it is important that you begin your day in quiet communion with God. The dawn of a new morning is not just the start of another day. It is a fresh opportunity to seek God's blessings, guidance, and protection. Morning prayer is like planting seeds of faith and watching them grow into blessings, peace, and strength that carry you throughout the day. Prayer is the door through which God's abundant goodness pours into your life. And when you make prayer your first act in the morning, you set the tone for a day filled with peace, purpose, and divine favor. And the best part, this isn't just a one-time act. It is something you can do every morning to keep the flow of blessings constant in your life. So as we pray together, stay with me till the end. Watch this video every morning and play it over and over again as part of your daily routine. Let this prayer stir your spirit and let God's blessings fill your life. Remember, when you start your day with God, you are blessed beyond measure. And don't forget to subscribe for more powerful prayers that will bless and transform your mornings. As the sun rises, painting the sky with hues of dawn, there is something sacred about the stillness of the morning. It is a time when everything is fresh, when the worries of yesterday seem distant, and the opportunities of today feel limitless. And it is during this precious time that we can connect with God in a special way. The Bible tells us that God's presence is like the morning sun that shines on us. And by beginning each day in prayer, we align ourselves with his blessings and purpose. And starting the day with prayer is like laying a firm foundation upon which the rest of the day is built. It is no coincidence that the scriptures encourage us to seek God early. Psalm 5 verse 3 says, In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. There is something about praying in the morning that aligns us with God's will. It is the moment we can invite him into every aspect of our day before any distractions arise, asking him to bless our day. Uh, there's a reason Jesus made time for prayer in the morning. Mark 1 verse 35 says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Um, if the Son of God started his mornings with prayer, how much more should we? When we pray first thing in the morning, we invite God into the rhythm of our day. We acknowledge that we need his guidance, his wisdom, and his blessings to navigate life's challenges. Think about how you spend your mornings. What's the first thing you do? For many of us, it's reaching for our phones, checking emails, or jumping into the tasks of the day. But what if the first thing we did every morning was to meet with God, to pause, breathe, and invite him to take control of our day? By doing so, we give him the first fruits of our time and in return, we receive his abundant blessings. Psalm 90 verse 14 offers another profound insight. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Imagine starting your day being filled with God's love, so much so that it overflows into everything you do. When we make morning prayer a priority, we open our hearts to his love, peace, and joy. We become grounded, confident, and ready to face the day, no matter what challenges may come. Prayer, especially in the morning, also allows us to present our requests to God before the day begins. 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10 speaks of Jabez's prayer where he cries out, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. This scripture reminds us that God is eager to bless us when we come to him in prayer, seeking his protection and favor. When we make morning prayer a priority, we open the door to receive God's abundant blessings. We allow his peace to fill our hearts before the day's demands press in. In the stillness of the morning, we surrender our worries to him and he equips us with the strength and courage to face whatever may come. So I encourage you as you listen to this prayer to make it a part of your morning routine. Play this video daily 
and let it be the way you start your day, inviting God's blessings into every moment. As you pray with me, remember that God hears your voice, just as he heard the cries of David, Jesus, and Jabez. When you pray first, the morning is transformed from an ordinary time of day into a sacred moment where heaven touches earth. Watch this video till the end. Subscribe to stay connected. Pray with me every day and watch how God moves in your life. To our wondrous, sovereign, living, loving God, let us pray together. Most righteous and everlasting Father, we come before you this morning, lifting up your name in praise and adoration. You are glorious in all your ways, and there is none like you. Lord, as the sun rises, we stand in awe of your majesty and power. You are our refuge, our strong tower, our deliverer, and our friend. We worship you, O Lord, for your goodness, for your steadfast love that endures forever. You are faithful in all that you do, and your mercies are new every morning. You are the God of abundance, and your blessings flow without end. You are our rock, our shield, and our fortress, and we come to you with thanksgiving in our hearts. Blessed are you, O Lord, for your faithfulness endures from generation to generation. We praise you for the gift of life, for the breath in our lungs, and for the opportunity to see another day. Lord, we stand in awe of your love, which surrounds us like a shield. Your love has sustained us through every trial, and your grace has carried us through every storm. This morning, we bow before you with hearts full of thanksgiving, because we know that without you, we are nothing. But with you, we are more than conquerors. Blessed be your name, O Lord, for your faithfulness is great, and your promises are sure. Father God, as we enter this day, we come before you with hearts that are humble and repentant. We ask for your forgiveness, Lord, for every way in which we have fallen short of your glory. We confess our sins to you, knowing that you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Wash us clean, O Lord, and purify our hearts. This morning we receive the forgiveness that flows freely from your throne of grace. Lord, we pray that you will bless our day. We ask for your divine favor to rest upon us in every area of our lives. Bless the work of our hands, Lord, and let it be fruitful. May everything we touch be blessed, and may your presence go with us wherever we go. We declare that this day is filled with your blessings, and we receive them with hearts of gratitude. Lord, we also pray for provision. You are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and we trust in you to meet every need we have today. Whether it is a financial need, an emotional need, or a spiritual need, we lay it before you, knowing that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or imagine. Father, we pray for doors to open that no man can shut, and for divine opportunities to come our way. Let your blessings overflow in our lives, and help us to be good stewards of all that you provide. This morning, Lord, we lift up our hands in surrender, asking that you would pour out your blessings upon our families and loved ones. Bless them, O Lord, with good health, peace, and joy. Let your protection surround them like a wall of fire, and let your favor rest upon them in everything they do. We ask, Lord, that you would draw them closer to you, that they may know you more deeply and experience the fullness of your love. Let your blessings flow into their lives like a river, bringing refreshment and renewal. Lord, we pray for peace, your peace that surpasses all understanding. In a world filled with chaos and confusion, we ask that you would grant us peace that cannot be shaken. Let your peace guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We declare that no anxiety, fear, or worry will take root in our lives because we trust in you, O Lord. You are the Prince of Peace, and we invite you to rule over every situation, over every thought, and over every concern we may have today.
we lay down every burden at your feet and choose to rest in your perfect peace. Father, we pray for protection. Your word says that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. We ask that you would send your angels to guard us and our loved ones today. Keep us safe from harm, accidents, and any schemes of the enemy. Cover us under the shadow of your wings, where no evil can come near us. We declare that we are blessed in our going out and in our coming in, for you, Lord, are our refuge and our fortress, our God in whom we trust. This morning, Lord, we pray for divine strength. Your word tells us that your strength is made perfect in our weakness, and so we come to you, acknowledging our need for your power in our lives. Strengthen us, O Lord, to face the challenges of this day with boldness and courage. When we feel weary, renew our strength like the eagles, that we may run and not grow tired, walk and not faint. Let your power be evident in our lives today, Lord, and let your joy be our strength. Father, we also pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Fill us afresh this morning with your Spirit, that we may walk in the fullness of your power and presence. Let your Spirit guide us, teach us, and lead us into all truth. We surrender every part of our lives to you, Holy Spirit and we ask that you would transform us from the inside out. Let the fruit of the Spirit be evident in our lives today. Empower us, Lord, to be witnesses of your grace and carriers of your presence wherever we go. Lord, we lift up to you today all your servants, the evangelists, missionaries, pastors, and all those who labor in your vineyard. Father, Strengthen them in their mission to spread the gospel. Give them boldness, wisdom, and endurance as they proclaim your truth in every corner of the earth. We pray that your anointing would rest upon them mightily, that their words would be like fire in the hearts of those they minister to. Bless them with divine protection as they travel to unfamiliar places, and let them feel the support of your presence every step of the way. Heavenly Father, bless their families as well. Let their households be filled with peace, provision, and joy. May the seeds they plant in the lives of others bear much fruit, and may they see a harvest of souls won to your kingdom. Strengthen their hands for the work ahead, and let them not grow weary in doing good, for in due season they shall reap a great reward. Lord, we bring before you all those who are yearning for the fruit of the womb. You are the God who opens the barren womb, as you did for Sarah, Hannah, and Elizabeth. We pray for every couple struggling with infertility, that you would touch their bodies and make them fruitful. Let their hearts not be discouraged, but let their faith rise as they trust in your perfect timing. Lord, just as you remembered Hannah and blessed her with Samuel, we ask that you remember these families today and grant them the blessing of children. Father, we also lift up to you those who are battling terminal illness and those who are lying on their sickbeds. You are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. We declare your healing power over every body that is afflicted with sickness, disease, or infirmity. Lord, your word says in Psalm 103 that you forgive all our sins and heal all our diseases. So we stand on that promise and ask that you would bring supernatural healing to those who are sick. Let every cell, tissue, and organ in their bodies respond to your healing touch. Breathe life into them, Father, and restore their strength. For those who are struggling with terminal diagnoses, we pray for peace that surpasses all understanding. Let them feel your loving arms around them, comforting them in their time of need. If it be your will, O Lord, 
we pray that you would defy medical reports and bring about miraculous healing that will astonish doctors and glorify your name. But even in the midst of pain, let their faith remain unshaken and let them know that you are with them, walking through every valley and carrying them through every storm. Lord, we pray for those who are weary and in need of hope today. Whether they are battling physical illness, emotional pain, or spiritual dryness, we ask that you would refresh their souls. Let your light shine in their darkness, and let them know that you have not forgotten them. Strengthen their hearts, and lift them up on wings like eagles. Finally, Lord, we thank you for the gift of this morning, for the opportunity to come before you in prayer. We bless your holy name for the blessings you have already prepared for us today. We receive them with hearts full of gratitude and expectation, knowing that you are able to do more than we could ever ask or imagine. As we step into this day, we do so with confidence, knowing that your presence goes before us, that your blessings surround us, and that your peace fills our hearts. We declare that today is a day of favor, a day of divine appointments, and a day of supernatural blessings. We speak blessings over every aspect of our lives, our families, our work, our health, and our relationships. We declare that we are blessed in the morning, blessed throughout the day, and blessed in the evening. We are blessed because we belong to you, and your blessings will follow us all the days of our lives. Father, we thank you in advance for all you are going to do, for you are a God who does exceedingly, abundantly more than we could ever ask or imagine. Receive all the glory, Lord, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering our prayer. In the mighty, precious and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Comment Praise Jesus if this prayer has blessed you. I proclaim these blessings cover you in Jesus' name. Pray daily to witness God's work in your life and share your testimony in the comments to inspire others. Help us spread the gospel by sharing this video with friends and family. Don't forget to like and subscribe to uplift others. Leave your prayer requests below so our holy family and viewers can pray for you. All glory to God alone. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.